So this is the two bedroom oceanfront villa that I found in Dar es Salaam. It's in an area called Bezi or Bessie Beach. So it's two bedrooms, two bathrooms. So what I like about this little place here, other than location, is that all the windows are screened. So this is the front yard and the guard house is somewhere out there. And that's, you know, parking down there. Um, a very beautiful place. So when you come to Africa, um, even Middle Eastern countries, you're gonna find the bathroom look mostly like this. And the toilets usually have that spray nozzle because um, that's how they deal with their hygiene, by washing, so not necessarily by toilet paper. Um, so this is the first bedroom, not slept in, because we discovered that the air conditioner on this side actually works much better. So the rooms are identical. This is where Jojo and I sleep. Um, I just can't get over this view, you know, just listen to the birds, listen to the birds. So there are three villas on this property and of these three villas, this is the only one that they actually rent. The others go to like managers of the hotel. And this is the other bathroom, identical, but it's pretty big, has a lot of space has a lot of closets, um, you know, lots of towels. Let's see, let me turn off these lights. Let me close this door because I want to take you downstairs and I don't want to be surprised by any like lizards or bugs or anything when I come back. So that's, that's a concern for me because I am like anti, <laughs> I'm anti, anti reptile, anti lizard. I can't do lizards. I can do a snake, but I can't do a lizard. Go figure. But again, goodbye Indian Ocean. See you downstairs. lights just the view right so that's the hotel across the way one of the things that um i like with tanzania so much is its lush greenery it's so tropical it's so pleasant so it has a nice big open um airway here air window so last night at about one o'clock, my door flew open. The wind was so strong. Nice beautiful stairs. It's her stuff. Yeah, so the wind blew open my door and of course I couldn't go back to sleep. So this is the kitchen. Um, one of the things we're going to find is these windows 
big beautiful windows keep the houses cool so some places aren't it's not as hot as you think so this is what i was talking about always pack things that you can eat at night or eat early in the morning um you know so this is a big eat-in kitchen if um this was like a, a house where people actually lived in and this is a dining room very nice i love the artwork the artwork is just like mm -hmm. so beautiful so they've managed to capture all of these different tribal women from all over africa well all over uh, tanzania so just beautiful beautiful gorgeous stuff so perfect has a tv and yes i brought the unicorn and blew it up there is the lady chilling i don't know why jojo insists on building she builds she's an architect so this is a fort she's built for her dolls and you just have these beautiful beautiful panoramic windows that go right around you know and you, you don't miss any of this scenery so yesterday was spent um looking around for an apartment well a house and this leads to the front yard but i didn't bring the keys downstairs with me this is just like a room closet you know and then it's another bathroom a downstairs bathroom with a shower so you can wash the sand off of you and yeah these high windows are pretty are pretty good they let the air in they let light in but um, when you go to like Africa and the Caribbean, you're gonna find windows high up to keep out um, unwanted creatures and unwanted people. <laughs> but uh, anyway, this is the villa. I just wanted to make a little video about it um, because it's it's actually a really really great find and. Because of the coronavirus crisis, I got it for a steal and a song. So it has a swing in the front yard. It has dining on the patio. Um, it just has that sand that you can play in. And if I follow the path that way, follow the path, um, you can see the hotel next door. That's where the swimming pool is. But again, Gorgeous, gorgeous welcome to Tanzania. This is caribou at its finest for me. Um, I'm not like a really big glitzy glam girl. This is just my style. All right, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it inspires you of what you should be looking for if you really want like a nice little soft landing when you come to uh, Tanzania. So I figured it couldn't hurt to just really have that welcome, have a space that was welcoming and will forever be imprinted in our minds. All right.